Hi, in this video, I will be showing you problem number 2 of chapter 2, section 3. The graphs of f and g are given. Use them to evaluate each limit if it exists. If an answer does not exist, enter d and a. The two graphs are given. The first one is for the function f of x. The second one is for the function g of x. Part a, limit is x approaching to fx plus gx. Part b, limit is x approaching 0 fx minus gx. Part c, limit is x approaching negative 1 fx times gx. Part d, limit is x approaching 3 fx over gx. E, limit is x approaching to x squared times fx. F, f of negative 1 plus limit is x approaching negative 1 gx. So, part a, limit is x approaching to fx plus gx. By property of limit, its limit is x approaching to fx plus limit is x approaching to g of x. For the first part, we have to consider the neighborhood of 2 on the graph of f of x. The neighborhood of 2, the graph is actually approaching negative 1. The y coordinate is negative 1. So, this part is negative 1. Then limit is x approaching 2 of g of x. So, you have to consider uh, the function g of x, the second graph, and what happens in the neighborhood of 2. So, in the neighborhood of 2, the graph is approaching 2. So, negative 1 plus 2 equal to 1. The limit is x approaching 0 fx minus gx is part b. So, it is limit is x approaching 0 fx minus limit is x approaching 0 g of x. So, in the neighborhood of 0, f of x is approaching 2. The y coordinate is 2. In the neighborhood of 0, g of x is approaching. Um, actually, to the left of negative 0, the g, of, the g of x is y coordinate is approaching 3. To the right of 0, it is approaching 1. So, the left, left limit at 0 is not same as the right limit at 0. So, in fact, this limit does not exist. So, together, it does not exist. Then part C, limit is x approaching negative 1 fx times gx. By property of limit, it's limit of f of x times limit of g of x. The first limit uh, as x approaching negative 1, so you have to look at f of x in the neighborhood of negative 1. It is equal to this whole here, which is equal to negative 1 times limit is x approaching negative 1 of g of x. So it is x approaching negative 1 of g of x which is equal to 2, so it is negative 1 times 2, 1 times 2, so this value is actually 1, 1 times 2, limit is x approaching negative 1, y value is actually 1, so 1 times 2, this is equal to 2. D, Limit is x approaching 3 fx over gx by property of limit. It's limit of the numerator over limit of the denominator. Limit is x approaching 3 of f of x. So, look at the first graph and see what happens in the neighborhood of 3. The graph is approaching 1. The limit is x approaching, approaching 3 of g of x, which is actually 0. So, 1 over 0 is undefined or we can say... Uh, the limit does not exist. Here limit is x approaching to x squared times f of x. So limit of x squared times limit of f of x is x approaching to. So for the first one x squared being a continuous function you can actually replace x by 2. So it is 2 square. Limit is x approaching to of f of x which we already got which is equal to negative 1 from the first graph that so is 4 times negative 1 which is equal to negative 4. f f of negative 1 plus limit is x approaching negative 1 of g of x. So this is asking what is the value of y when x equal to negative 1 for the function f f at negative 1. As we see a solid dot at negative 1 corresponding to negative 1, um, we have to consider the y value here which is equal to 3. So, this value is equal to 3. 
limit is x approaching negative 1 of g of x which we already found in part c which is equal to 2 x approaching negative 1 of g of x from the second graph this is equal to 2 so it is equal to actually 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5 hope this video helps